everybody, my name is Addie Clark. You'll see Charlie running around and you are watching Peach Babe Crypto. Today is the 15th of February, 2018. Yeah, so we're gonna be going over trading bots today. It's gonna be super fun. I've been wanting to do this because I just, I work a full-time job. Stop it. I work a full-time job and I just don't have enough time job like most of you and I just don't have time to watch every single coin every single day every single hour and sometimes I have to sleep so I want something to do it for me so I bought profit trailer so today's video is going to be for beginners who want to learn how to set up and install their very own VPS as well as the profit trailer trading bot now this one is my favorite because it's a one-time fee of 0 0.03 Bitcoin, um, which is kind of nice now that Bitcoin's still dipping. Luckily, I bought it two days ago before the price went up. Um, but if you would like to purchase it using my link, I will get a 5% commission and I will link it down below. All of the links that I'm going to be leaving in the description below are actually affiliate links. So if you use them, it sends me a little bit of cash um, to help keep this channel running. Now this setup is going to be for a very basic level. Whenever I was trying to find information to set it up, it kind of assumed that you already knew a lot of information that I personally did not understand, and I spent a long time searching for it. So without any further ado, let's go over to the laptop. Okay guys, so sorry this took a little bit longer than anticipated. I ran into a whole lot of stuff whenever I tried to um, get my bot up and running. So now I've figured all that stuff out and I'm going to take you through all the steps so that you don't run into the same issues that I ran into. Okay, so our first step is to get a glass of wine or a beer because this might be a little frustrating. I picked number one Pinot Grigio. It's my favorite, so take a, a nice big sip. Now that that's out of the way, you're going to go ahead and log into your Binance account and then try and get over to your account page. So once you get to your account page, we are going to be creating API keys. Now you want to do this as your first step because we are going to be inputting it into our profit trailer um, as soon as we buy it. So once we put it in our cart, we are going to um, have to put in our API key that we're generating right now. So in order to do that, you go to this um, profile page, click on API settings right here by API. Wait for that to load. Um, and I'm gonna cover up these because they are secret private, private keys. Um, and I don't really want anybody to have access to them. So in order to create a new key, you're going to give it a name. So I highly suggest you name the first one default. So D E F A U L T default, create new key. You put in your Google authenticator code. Give me a second, Google authenticate. Okay. Okay. So that creates this default one down here. And now I'm going to create a second one. Now the second API is going to be called trading. So trading, create new key, Google Authenticate again. So now that we have this done, we can go ahead and buy our profit trailer. So you're gonna go over, um, I'm gonna leave a link below. It's gonna be an affiliate link. So if you buy using my link, um, I get 5% of that sale. So you can, or you don't have to do that. Either one is fine. But you're gonna go over to profittrailer.com um, and then you are going to get the single license. Now I use Binance. Um, so I chose the Binance license, obviously. Um, but what you will do is you will go to pricing, one exchange, order now. Okay. 
choose um, whichever exchange you use. You can use Bittrex, Poloniex, uh, Binance, or you could do multiple. I think it's kind of a, a waste to do multiple. So I just went with Binance. Um, and then you press add to cart. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. This is where your API keys will come in handy. So what you will want to do is input your information um, all the way down to the bottom. And then this Binance API key, you'll go back over here. Copy your API key. And then there you go. You will paste it in there. So delete that. And then you will finish um, checking out. So whenever you do check out, you will have to actually send Bitcoin from your Binance account. Um, you'll have to do a withdrawal of your Bitcoin. So make sure you already have some in there and you will send it to the address that they give you. Uh, don't forget to do that because you won't end up getting it if you don't. Okay, so after you have you have actually sent your Bitcoin and you're waiting on the transaction to be verified, um, because I believe it only has to verify one block, um, what you'll want to do is go over to the wiki, the Profit Trailer wiki, and you will want to download all of the stuff that you're going to need. So, firstly, I would go ahead and just download Profit Trailer. So you just click it. Let's follow this. Okay, click the zip, it'll download, and then you can export it. But you will also want to go to minimal requirements. Now these are really specific um, pieces of software that you have to have. So you want to go and download Java 8 specifically from this link. Um, Java 7, Java 9, none of those will work, only Java 8. Um, be sure to run the installer for that. And then also Notepad++. This has been amazing and super helpful. If you use regular Notepad, it won't work at all because there are a lot of characters that it just it just won't work with. Um, so you will want to also go through the installer for Notepad++. And then once you have all of that downloaded and everything's ready, go ahead and start setting it up. Well, I will minimize this. Open up Profit Trailer. And what you will want to do, up Application Properties, side click it, edit with Notepad. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is type in the trading exchange that you want to use in all caps. So I want to use Binance, so B I N A N C E. Okay, and then now you'll have to use your API keys that you created on um, Binance already. So the default one, you'll go back over to your web browser, go back over to your API keys. So you'll take the top API key right here, copy it, and then go back over here and paste it. And then we'll redo the same thing with the secret key. Um, so you'll have to click show with this. Oh, by the way, don't enable withdraws on any of these API keys. You do not want that. That's too dangerous for, for what you're doing here. Okay, so do the secret key and you have to Google Authenticate again. Okay, and you will copy this second key. Control C over to your API secret right here. And then you'll go to the second API key that you have. Do the same thing all over again. Control C, Control V. Okay, and then trading API secret, you'll also have to authenticate with this one. 18688. Okay, and it will show your key. So copy. and paste over here. Okay, so next you will go through and change your server offset time. 
I live in Japan, so I am plus nine. If you live in England, you're going to be zero because that's where um, GMT is. I think it's Greenwich Mean Time. And then you're going to assign a password. This is whatever you want it to be. Uh, the rest of the stuff is optional, but you can do it if you would like. Okay, so now you press save. And you can close it. All right, so I'm going to close these API settings. I'm not going to need those anymore. Not going to need this. This. Okay, so for the remainder of these settings, you can either leave them how they are over here in trading. The DCA is the dollar cost average. This is something I'm not going to explain in this video, maybe a future one, um, but it is best to actually look up CryptoNome or um, CryptoFace, both of those are pretty good about their settings. The indicators and the pairs as well. Um, you can go ahead and launch this if you want to um, using the settings that they generate for you, but they're not gonna be very good. Um, this trading bot is only as good as the settings that you give it. So make sure that you do some in-depth research. I'll drop some links below for places that you can find um, resources for these settings. One of those is actually CryptoGnome. You can download um, the settings pack. It's a, a zip file that you can export and you can copy all of their settings into your um, Notepad++. Okay. So next up, I'm going to show you how I saved a lot of time. Well, at least you guys are gonna save a lot of time. This took me forever to figure out. It actually is the reason why I had to um, post this video today. I was supposed to post it yesterday, but my VPS was acting up like crazy. So you're going to want to run your bot on a VPS, which is vir a virtual private server. Now this means that it is ha it has 100% uptime, it's pinging from a different IP address, and you don't really have to worry about the energy consumption. You just pay a flat rate and it's pretty much up all the time. If you just run it on your own desktop computer and it crashes, you have a pretty big chance that you, you have some corrupted files. So in order to ensure that I am pinging my Binance server because Binance's servers are located in Tokyo, I get a VPS set in Tokyo. So I'm going to guide you through all of the settings that I chose for my personal, my personal VPS. Okay, so I use this website called Vulture.com. I don't know if it's pronounced Vulture or Vulture. Um, but what I did was I created a new server. So deploy a new server right here. Choose the server location, Tokyo, because that's where I'm going to be pinging from. Server type. I don't know how to use Linux, so I just use Windows. I use Windows 2012, get 40 gigabyte per month, and then you give it a name. So give it a name like bot. That's what I named mine. And I don't know if you can see it because my face is in the way. Just deploy now, right here. So you click that and then it'll take about five minutes to work out for you. And then you can actually start using it. So once you are actually able to use it, you can click servers, instances, click on whichever one your server is, and you can press view console. Now this is an instance where you are connecting into your VPS and you have like a little computer screen on here. You'll have to use the password that's right there. But I prefer to do it a different way. That way you can take all the stuff that you just edited on your desktop and actually just put it on there automatically. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go down here and start to run. So remote remote desktop connection. Okay, so here you're gonna take your IP address 
that they just gave you. You can find that right here. Copy it, place it here. Press show options because you're going to want to see all of your options for this. And in order to be able to drag and drop from your desktop here, you're going to go to local resources. Press more and make sure that this drives box is selected. If it is, press OK. Go back to general. I always press save. You'll probably have to put in your username and your username will be right here. Mine is administrator. And I also always copy the password. That way I can just paste it in there. OK, so now I'll press connect. Show details and then make sure that it has the drives right here. You'll press connect again. It'll probably ask you for your password. I've already input mine, so it goes in straight away. Okay, now here is your VPS. So you can be remoted in, um, zoom this. So I like to minimize this and go back and open where I had my bot saved. Now my bot, I had saved my bot to my desktop. So let's go here, desktop, and this demo profit trailer. And now what I'm going to do is open up another window. And local disk, see? Because whenever you decided to be able to share files, it created this local disk C that you can drag and drop things to and it will work. Okay, so move this over here. Demo profit trailer. This is the one that we've been working in. Move it to local disk right here. Close it. Oh, and also make sure that you drag and drop your Java as well as your notepad plus plus to this or it won't work. I've actually already installed that on this one, but make sure that you do it as well. Okay, so I'm going to close this on here. Let's see. Make this bigger. Okay, so. Okay. So next up, I'm going to show you how I saved a lot of time. Well, at least you guys are going to save a lot of time. This took me for ever to figure out. It actually is the reason why I had to um, post this video today. I was supposed to post it yesterday, but my VPS was acting up like crazy. So you're going to want to run your bot on a VPS, which is vir a virtual private server. Now this means that it is ha it has 100% uptime, it's pinging from a different IP address, and you don't really have to worry about the energy consumption, you just pay a flat rate and it's pretty much up all the time. If you just run it on your own desktop computer and it crashes, you have a pretty big chance that you, you have some corrupted files. So in order to ensure that I am pinging my Binance server because Binance's servers are located in Tokyo, I get a VPS set in Tokyo. So I'm going to guide you through all of the settings that I chose for my personal, my personal VPS. Okay, so I use this website called Vulture.com. I don't know if it's pronounced Vulture or Vulture. Um, but what I did was I created a new server. So deploy a new server right here. Choose the server location, Tokyo, because that's where I'm going to be pinging from. Server type. I don't know how to use Linux, so I just use Windows. I use Windows 2012, get 40 gigabyte per month, and then you give it a name. So give it a name like Bot. That's what I named mine. And I don't know if you can see it because my face is in the way. Just deploy now, right here. So you click that and then it'll take about five minutes to work out for you. And then you can actually start using it. So once you are actually able to use it, you can click servers, instances, click on whichever one your server is, and 
you can press view console. Now this is an instance where you are connecting into your VPS and you have like a little computer screen on here. You'll have to use the password that's right there. But I prefer to do it a different way. That way you can take all the stuff that you just edited on your desktop and actually just put it on there automatically. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go down here and start to run so remote remote desktop connection okay so here you're going to take your ip address that they just gave you you can find that right here copy it place it here press show options because you're going to want to see all of your options for this and in order to be able to drag and drop from your desktop here, you're going to go to local resources, press more, and make sure that this drives box is selected. If it is, press OK. Go back to general. I always press save. You'll probably have to put in your username and your username will be right here. Mine is administrator. And I also always copy the password. That way I can just paste it in there. Okay. So now press connect. Show details. And then make sure that it has the drives right here. You'll press connect again. It'll probably ask you for your password. I've already input mine. So it goes in straight away. Okay. Now here is your VPS. So you can be remoted in. Um, zoom in this. So I like to minimize this and go back and open where I had my bot saved. Now my bot, I had saved my bot to my desktop. So let's go here, desktop, and this demo profit trailer. And now what I'm going to do is open up another window and local disk C because whenever you decided to be able to share files it created this local disk C that you can drag and drop things to and it'll work okay so move this over here demo profit trailer this is the one that we've been working in move it to local disk right here close it Oh, and also make sure that you drag and drop your Java as well as your Notepad++ to this or it won't work. I've actually already installed that on this one, but make sure that you do it as well. Okay, so I'm going to close this on here. Let's see. Make this bigger. Okay, so I'll show you guys what it looks like once it actually is running. This is my manager, my profit trailer manager. And right now it doesn't look so great because I just started it about maybe an hour ago. So yeah, I did a couple things that probably is gonna save you guys a lot of time. I So eventually I'm going to be going over some settings. I'm gonna be going over how to add um, profit trailer feeder. It's an add-on that automatically selects the settings for you and analyzes the market to see whether it's bearish, bullish, and sets it every three minutes. It changes the settings so that you get the maximal return on investment. All right, guys, what did you think of this tutorial? Uh, do you use a different trading bot? Were the instructions easy enough? Did you get hung up on anything? If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Hey buddy, come here. <gasps> Say bye Charlie.